guys and welcome back to this episode. We are still in Phuket, Thailand and we are about to have an amazing day. Yep, today we decided to see how much we can do in one day in Phuket. Uh, we're gonna go first stop Big Buddha but we gotta rent a motorbike first. One thing I'm not excited about is here in Phuket all the motorbike rental places require you to leave your passport. Uh, it seems weird, I don't like leaving my passport but I talked to the guy at the hotel. This is like the motorbike place right in front of the hotel. Everybody seems pretty cool. Hopefully we don't get burnt. I'm gonna have a, some trust in people. We were gonna get a regular like click scooter, but they said it's a pretty big hill up to the big Buddha and they were worried about we wouldn't have enough power. Maybe go too slow, it'd be dangerous. So we got a little bit of a bigger one, which is fine with me. I like to have a little more power. Honestly, I wanted to rent the sport bike, but I don't wanna spend a thousand baht just on a scooter. We're ready to go. We had our walkthrough for the scooter. Now we're headed to the Big Buddha. I think maybe Marissa wants food on the way. Yes. I do not miss these things whatsoever. I don't know if you can see, but the Big Buddha is all the way up there. That's where we're going. We're following all these cars. Probably really busy right now, especially because of Song Cran. People are probably going up there and paying their respects. It looks like the cafe overlooks this beautiful view. I'll show you guys in a second. All right, Marissa. No. <laughs> the whole way here, she was clinching on me and screaming. <laughs> There's two types of people in this world: people who are scared of everything, and people who are scared of nothing. And then they marry each other. I don't know why. That's just how it works out. <laughs> Wow, that's a view. Look at that. It's definitely a beautiful place to eat lunch. We are just stumbled upon it, coming up to the Big Buddha. It's called like the Sea View Cafe. All down, I believe that's Karen Beach. That's where we just rode through and came up. And then you got the views of over the city back that way over Phuket. Uh, pretty cool. Got my iced Thai lemon tea over here. It's very, very sweet, but it's good. Sean got a hot coffee by accident. He asked for ice, but hopefully they'll get him some ice. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because we got a lot of stuff that we want to get done today. In a perfect world, we should have rented our scooter last night. So that way we would have had it first thing this morning. The scooter rental place didn't open until 10 a.m. So we had to wait for that. By the time we got down here to the restaurant, it's almost 12 o'clock. So we definitely have a shortened day in Phuket, but we're gonna try to cram as much in as we can, riding the scooter, not teleporting as Marissa wishes. <laughs> <laughs> nice, good chicken satay. Probably your last. You said you wanted to get chicken satay one more time before we leave, so there you go. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> That's probably it. It's hard to have a bad meal with this view. Mm-hmm. Food was pretty good, view was better, and now we're going to the Big Buddha. Look, see you like that fresh coffee? Fresh. Fresh. Next stop, Big Buddha. <laughs> I'm not even gonna like clip it. <laughs> Show you hitting yourself. <laughs> Next stop, Big Buddha. It's huge. Huge. That's what she said. Now hiring new wife <laughs> who agrees with, that's what she said. Everywhere we've been, a mask hasn't been required, and we completely forgot our masks. And it looks like everybody else is wearing one, so I hope that they don't tell us to turn around and go back because we don't have a mask. A positive, Big Buddha's entry is free. I did not realize that. I thought for sure we'd have to pay for parking. We're probably gonna have to buy a mask. If you bring a mask, though. Then it's free. It's really free. Yeah. Don't be like us. That's like the ongoing trend. Don't be like that. Was, yeah, that was an irresponsible move on our part. We always bring the masks. Like, usually I have my bag and I have a whole pack of masks in it. Hopefully my shorts aren't too short to go into the Big Buddha. Who wears short shorts? Up and grub. We got the stuff. Boop, boop, boop. Update. Mask is required. And they gave it to us for free. So yeah. we didn't even have to pay for it. Yeah, so Big Buddha has been pretty successful so far. Good way to end out our uh, town trip. Save some money. In honor of Songkran, people are over here blessing the Buddha statue and pouring water over its hands. It 
so hot. And this feels so nice. I'm glad Sean got the water. Whew. Big Buddha's kind of got judgy eyes. I feel like he's looking at me. How big do you think the Big Buddha is, Sean? Oh, based on my calculations, each of those bricks, they're about, I'd say it's pretty big. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. It was the Big Buddha. We didn't spend too much time here, but we're going to our next stop, which is the Karen Viewpoint. Safety first. Whoop, whoop. More like no tickets. Oh yeah, let's do this. Scoot, scoot. interesting oh, we made it we made it marissa tried to alter that she tried to stick her foot in a wheel but we're here <laughs> i didn't try to look at this view that is pretty so nice and breezy up here i needed a good cool off I wonder what else there is around here it looks like I there's like a pathway we, yeah i think we can walk around so let's do it let's take a gander That is two stops out of our itinerary for today. Let's go to the next one. Today's about quantity, not quality. <laughs> <laughs> we just, just, we're, our objective today was to see how much stuff we could do. And the scooter rental, like taking so long in the beginning of the day, definitely screwed up our plans. So now we're kind of like trying to get through it, but also soak it in. I mean, this viewpoint, another gorgeous spot. I'm sure another sunset masterpiece. It's our shortest drive of the day so far, 17 minutes. That should make you happy, Mary. Our detour was the family mark. This big old water didn't stand a chance. Look how cute Marissa is in her little white horse riding helmet. Oh my gosh, you think a horse rider? I was thinking a construction worker. Construction like, worker? <laughs> yeah, like the shape of it and everything? I guess. Yeah. Is it a hard hat or is it an equestrian horse hat? <laughs> All right, now we'll see you at Wat Chalong. We're pulling up to it right now and it looks magnificent. Wat Chalong is said to be the number one Buddhist temple in all of Phuket and we figured during Songkran there wouldn't be a better place to come. Property is awesome. Like, there's so many different buildings. I don't know if they're different temples. We're kind of trying to stay out of people's way because it is Sankran and people are celebrating and it's their religion. We don't want to interfere with that. So, we're kind of just chilling, staying away on the outside, just admiring the beauty. Definitely an amazing property. So much cool architecture here. inside of the temple was amazing. There were so many Buddha and there was people meditating. It was so peaceful. We finished up pretty quickly because we didn't want to, you know, get in the way of anybody that was praying or meditating. Make sure that if you come here, you go to the second floor and get an overlook of all the temples. All right. Well, I think we've seen a good portion of Wat Chalong for what our day allows. Now we got to hop on and figure out what our next stop is. We had about five or six points. Uh, I'm going to look at the map because I don't know if we're going to make all of them today. So we kind of got to narrow it down real quick. So you guys will find out where we're going next when we do. <laughs> next stop, where are we at, Sean? We're going to Soy Romani, which is in Phuket Town. It just looked like a very like Instagrammable part of town. It looks like old school. Uh, it looked cool. The main reason I picked this area specifically was because of the way it looks. It's really awesome. It's kind of like Instagrammable and like really chic looking which is different than something we always do. We always go for like the nature and the cliffs 
the ocean. I feel like there's so many different styles of places to check out that we had to add this onto our day in Phuket. I want to find a cafe or something to have a drink in because your girl's sweating. Got a watermelon smoothie, it looks like. Only smoothie? No half. No half smoothie? Yes. Oh, oh man. No. Sorry. Okay. They had coffee but no smoothies, so baby gets what baby wants. We're going to get smoothies. <laughs> Walking down the road, you can see that everybody's in their best Instagram outfit. You know, gotta get the pick. I can see why it's popular, it's adorable. Did a little photo shoot, of course, had to while we're here. I almost feel like we're in the little Italy of Phuket. All these buildings are so ornate and colorful and they look old. It's awesome. Those are pretty. We figured for Thailand we might switch it up and do a bowl instead of a plate. <laughs> yeah. If you don't know, we always try to buy a plate every country we go to so we can have like a wall of plates in our future home. Do you like this one with the elephant? I do, that's cute. You like cool. that? Yeah, that's cute. That's the one you want, then that's the one we get. What's well, the only one that says Thailand? Baby wants what baby gets. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kevin Khan. Kevin Khan. I like all the signs, they're super cute. There's nothing like a watermelon smoothie whenever you're blistering hot. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we're just getting a quick cool off session and before we go to our next place. The next thing we're gonna do is either gonna be really fun or really scary or both. And I'm excited and nervous and all of that. We've done it before but it was before we vlogged, so you've never seen us do it on this channel. Hopefully the ropes are up the code. Let's do this thing, chicken wing. We are walking to Patong Beach, right? That's where we're at? Yep. Patong Beach. And we're gonna try to find somebody that will do parasailing with us, but a little nervous about it, we'll see. We didn't even make it to the beach and I think we might've found somebody. How many minutes? How long? You start here, yeah. go big, come back. Windy. You go together, right? Yeah. You go together and now windy. windy. That's good. Is it safe? Yeah. Is it, yeah. With windy? Grandi, grandi. Because uh, I have a man go with you. He goes on it with yeah, us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We're just trusting random people to take us up high in the sky. I hope it's fun. They did say that there's going to be somebody on there with us controlling it. So I'm going to trust the man. I'm also fine with the banana boat. Just throwing that out there. That's either our doom or our happiness. Is here? I feel like a penguin in this thing. I can barely walk. <laughs> Last time we did it from the boat, so now I'm just confused. Oh goodness, okay. Is there somebody with us? Okay. Is it safe? Stand up, stand up, brother. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. Uh. Turn it around. It takes it out of the beautiful sunset. I am. Shush. You wanted to do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is her idea. Uh, scared. Yeah, yes. This this her idea though. Now no skit, now no skit. <laughs> that was so much worse than the last time. <sighs> Last time at least, it, we were like, it felt like we were sitting and it was calm and like I didn't feel like I was slipping. This time, the entire time, my like, 
my harness felt like it was about to go up over my butt and I was having a panic attack because of that. We landed it safe though. I didn't like that. I'm happy I did it and I'm on the ground now. But holy crap. That was so much scarier than last time. Marissa was so uptight and nervous before we even got on there. I knew it was gonna happen. She wanted, she was talking about going parasailing first thing this morning and I was like, there's no way we're gonna go parasailing and then you're gonna be able to go into a day. It's gonna completely wreck your nerves and by her post parasailing reaction, I think you guys can agree, her nerves are wrecked. Look at the sun setting. It's a beautiful time. It was beautiful and I'm glad I did it, but that was very terrifying for me. As you probably know, because you've seen our episodes or if you haven't i'm terrified of heights absolutely petrified of heights and i did it and it's okay to brace your fears and try to be better and it's all right i'm just glad i did it but i was scared so are we skydiving next never uh, never in a million years will i skydive all right well we're gonna relax here for a few minutes and then we gotta go get old covid tested yeah more torture parasailing we decided to go to our room and get cleaned up now we're going to the sunset and enjoy our last night here in Phuket and in Thailand it's crazy we were here for a month and a half I'm so sad to say goodbye sun's already starting to set looks yeah. like it might be a good one it's beautiful so Thailand saying goodbye in its beautiful way So that is how, what we did in one day in Phuket. We had a late start. We didn't get to do as much stuff as we wanted to, but it was an amazing day and I'm so glad that we did it. Yeah, and there's definitely a lot of other things you can do. Those are just a couple of examples, of course. And, uh, but what we did, you could easily do in a day. Like we literally did it primarily in five hours, maybe. Definitely do it and add a couple other stops. Like, you know, watch the sunset, go get dinner, and then maybe head down to Bangla Road. We, we experienced that during the Songkran celebration. So if you want to see what that's like, go back and watch that video. Our time in Thailand has been amazing. We had a lot of ups and downs, but primarily ups. Crashing the drone, the GoPro breaking, us getting COVID. Um, Bangkok was just kind of rough for us. We had some like really low times, but all the people we've met, the scenery, the food, like the culture, the experiences that we've grown, like had has made us grown so much. And I would not trade our time here for anything in the world. I think we're just gonna end it here. I mean, this is too beautiful of a sunset to not end it at. And we want to end it on a high note, not just us getting jabbed in the nose with <laughs> Q-tips. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows what a COVID test looks like. All right, let's just enjoy this sunset for a little bit longer, soak it in. We uh, hope everyone enjoyed this Thailand series. This is, I guess, Thailand's coming to an end. Sad to end this chapter, but see you guys in, uh, on the way to Italy. Thank you for watching. Yeah. Don't show the world my pee number. Oh, We're taking our money in Thailand. Trick is try to get as much as you think you'll need. Throughout this trip, like I've been taking out 10,000 baht at a time, which is like three a little over 300 us dollars but i've had to do it like five times and we've been here for a month and a half and every time every atm is a 220 baht fee so like literally a seven dollar fee <clears throat> also they try to do an exchange rate on here for you do it without the exchange rate your bank will give you a way better rate than the atm will there you go sean coffee days whiskey nights coffee days whiskey nights your motto. Side note, Bay Buddha is big. You couldn't eat at McDonald's for less, two people for less than $16 with no view. I mean, you could if you got off the Happy Meal or the dollar menu. Oh my God, I've got a big old club.